Today I want to show you how to export a simple game. This is the first person shooter uh, example tutorial, uh, example test file that I just added a few walls to so the character can't fall off the edge. And if I go ahead and just play this right now, you'll see that it plays fine in the Army 3D editor. Although we do want to export this now because imagine we finished this game and we made it from scratch and we're very proud. And now we want to export it. So how do we do that? Now I've shown a tutorial on how to export a test build to uh, Android without using Android Studios, but how do I actually export a game into a .exe file, which is an executable file for um, obviously a PC? It's a bit laggy right now in the editor because my computer is a little slow, but it should be fine uh, when everything's exported and when all the data is loaded in. And this is pretty fun as it is, so I'm going to close this down and we're going to show you straight away how to export this. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to go down to the editor, uh, the render tab, I mean. And the first thing we want to do is to go down, close the player, and we go down to the render path, because first of all we've got to define what you want to export it to. So this is the first thing. And we have desktop enabled, which is good which is what we need and now you do have possibility for mobile and things like that but we want desktop so now that we've done that we need to go to our project uh, our exporter I mean and we need to add a new exporter now by default this is set to HTML5 which is a JavaScript file for um, web-based games but this isn't going to be a web-based game because it's a little too big so we're going to set it to a lost it Windows Chrome or Windows C++ I'm gonna go with Chrome and uh, we're gonna leave the graphics to automatic and we can rename our package to first person shooter whatever I don't know if you want to call this the package name would be something like um, org dot test file test file so that and the build version is fine and we're going to select an icon I'm going to get any random image why not okay now we have that we have data compression enabled by default we have assets compression we're going to uh, we, we won't enable that so it compiles fast actually and you have a bunch of other things to save on data and things like, that, like texture quality sound quality and uh, all that kind of stuff that you can mess with yourself but for this tutorial I'm not going to go in depth in that uh, but if you want you can go and play around with it and stuff like that see what works what doesn't and now what do we do well we click publish it's frozen for a few seconds it's compiling all the data and as soon as it unfreezes we shall get well, we'll be able to see in the console the progress that it is making to um, export this uh, game to a uh, desktop executable. Uh, it's frozen a bit here. And it's compiling. And if we look at the... here in the console in the console system we can see it's exported the scene and it started to publish it and yeah it's published well, that's fast and as you can see we have the icon um, that's not the icon oh well we've got the exe here and we can run it When it loads, it's ten. It's ten megabytes, which is fairly small for uh, a Army 3D test file. And uh, this is looking fine. Look at that. It's smooth. It plays well. It's super fun. And now you can upload this file, this folder, not just the exe. The entire folder needs uploading to um, wherever you're going to upload it. Probably like hg it dot yo. I, I can never. I can never pronounce it. I know the site, I can write it, but I can never pronounce the site. You can upload it anywhere, really, Steam anywhere. And uh, maybe I shouldn't shoot these many balls because it's lagging my PC with all the instances of the objects being created. And as you can see, it's very fun to play, despite the small lag. But that's okay, actually, just because I got 
tons of thing open on my really bad laptop but it should be good for you if you have more advanced system and if the, it isn't really as good then like I said you can go through the um, data compression and all the quality to uh, remove some of the quality so you don't have your computer uh, rendering so much because you can see this is fairly high detail you got like um, for reflections and high quality shadows and and uh, interesting light it's, it's a very pretty scene it would be it would look good if um, there was like a forest or something like that and uh, the physics are good like you can see the game is it's got a good gameplay to it it's just a little laggy so yeah I definitely would recommend uh, lowering the quality of the light reflections and the data compression as well other than that 10 megabytes it's really good so thank you very much for watching if you learned something and if you enjoyed this tutorial then please like comment subscribe and as you can see um, I'm done I'm out of ideas got nothing else to say apart from this will come in very handy if you want to join the game jam that's right we're doing a army 3d only game jam which is uh, a contest to see well it's not really a contest but it's a it's a game jam it allows you to upload your projects to um, I can never remember what it's called. I can never pronounce it. This, a community game jam for Armour 3D. We've got seven people enlisted so far. It's been on for two days. And you can read about all the rules and uh, everything here on the Armour 3D page. Link will be in the description. Now, this is my first uh, ever game jam host or participation. Even though I'm not going to participate in this one, obviously, because I need to... Um, I need to uh, judge and I need to review the submissions and things like that so I can't really review my own one that's not fair and uh, well we got 12 days left till the, um, the challenge starts and once those 12 days are up you will have another two weeks to complete your submission and submit it and after that you'll have uh, the two days to vote on which one is the best so definitely go check it out even if you don't want to submit to it you can uh, go find out other artists on the Armory community and see what they um, what they have been making. So that will be very interesting. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, uh, I'm gonna get back to my tutorial series hopefully. So enjoy. Have a good day.